You know it's rude to enter without knocking. <laughs> the use of today. No manners at all. Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Heavy-handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. To give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. The one there in the fancy duds, that's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it? <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? Ha! <laughs> We were constantly at each other's throats, like rabid dogs we were. <laughs> oh, he was a stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. <laughs> Never a dull moment when he was around, though I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady? Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eosia to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out with it. What is it you need of me? I never thought I'd hear that name again. You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagans set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soir and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings such as primals and dragons, and find ways it did to frightening ones. Such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Ah, some things never change. One day that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> 